greatest thing for Michael Keyes to be would be bigger. I was going to do what I had to do to fight, win, and survive. I was approached by some coaches in the United States and said that if you really want to win a gold medal, you're going to have to take steroids. At 11 years old, I wanted to be Mr. America, and I would do nothing else, and I would do it until I die, until I won. In the 1988 Seoul Olympics, a Canadian sprinter named Ben Johnson lost his gold medal after testing positive for steroids. Suddenly, the abuse of steroids by athletes and teenagers made headlines. The public was shocked by the number of people taking these powerful drugs. Ultimately, steroids were classified under state and federal law as a drug that is medically viable but has a high abuse potential, making them illegal. The abuse of steroids and other performance-enhancing drugs appears to have grown and gotten more complicated. There continues to be scandals and successes by athletes and entertainers who use performance-enhancing drugs. Dr. Charles Yasalis, a professor at Penn State University and author of numerous studies and books on the subject, describes the history of their use. This goes back to the 1950s in elite sport. That's what, that was the birth of, of anabolic steroid use in, in elite sport, from essentially uh, elite weightlifters on the world scene uh, to other strength sports uh, associated with the Olympic, uh, throwers, shot putters, discus. It gravitated to powerlifting and professional football, and then it gravitated to college football. So the college uh, athletes learned about it and it diffused to women's sports uh, simultaneously. As soon as it gets to the college level, it's going to get to the high school level. Developing muscles and strength quickly can be a powerful incentive to use steroids for both young athletes or pro football players. The results at first appear spectacular. However, lives can be affected forever. 